Let's just get right into this. Let's just get right into this. There has been... Hello? Really? Chat. Patch notes. We have not had a patch note since August 11th or 9th. Something in that range. Today is October 21st. And we have entered, in my opinion, the new era. Let me show you what I mean. Patch notes. Oh, hang on. Sorry. Wrong ones. Patch notes. My bad. Hero updates. Torbjorn. The overload, overload change allows Torbjorn to use his overload a bit more aggressively. Instead of purely saving it for defense, when combined with the rivet gun change, Torbjorn will be allowed to dish out more damage more frequently, especially at close range. <sighs> Cooldown reduced from 10 to 8 seconds. Alternate fire ammo consumption reduced from 3 to 2 per shot. Torb was already strong. Hawa? Tor was already strong. Why? What is this? You know what's the crazy part? Is this is the most... Except I, this is the second most, like... Okay buff out of this list. Strap in. This is three to two per shot, so basically his shotgun is... <laughs> Like, like, we didn't need to blow up anything else at this point. Like, if you have never, if you're a tank player and you have fought a Torb up close with his ult or his E and his, uh, his, and his right click, his shotgun. Dude, I played Torb, okay, on my 3800 DPS account and I fucking farm tanks. Me. Me. I, 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 I've, I won, I can't even tell you the amount of hogs I've 1v1 and killed. As Torb. This is mild in comparison to what's coming. McCree got buffed. The change to Deadeye allows it faster damage ramping up to happen earlier. Maybe we'll win Junkenstein's Revenge now. Allowing it to be threatening to enemies more quickly than before. This change will help strengthen an, an ability that is often considered fairly weak compared to other heroes' ultimates. Combat role being able to use be used in the air is quite or is a nice quality of life change, but it's also a potentially powerful change when fighting against heroes with big vertical knockbacks, such as Doom and Wrecking Ball. <laughs> Deadeye, initial slower damage ramping up speed, redu duration reduced from 0.8 to 0.5. And combat roll can now be used in the air. Can we talk for like one sec? Kree is very good already. What is wrong with a Zen nerf and Tracer nerf? Oh, no, 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 no. There, there is no Zen nerf and Tracer nerf. Tracer, I actually don't mind being strong. I, I actually think the game's in its best state when Tracer's strong. That's my opinion. But no, no, no Brig. No Zen. No immortality. To be honest with you, immortality is grown on me. And to be honest with you, with the way damage it works in the game and burst damage, immortality has kind of grown on me a little bit, to be honest with you. I actually don't think it's... I do think it's still broken, but I, at the same time, though, I think the game has gotten so bad in, like, damage numbers-wise that immortality is, like, a necessary evil. Regardless, though, that's not the point. Let's talk about this! Deadeye, yes, was a weak ult. But I think that was a good exchange for a weak ultimate... That could, one, still be powerful if they get enough resources. Like, if you protected it, gave it shield, etc. And we, you could easily bust the shields. You know what I mean? Like, whether it's double shield, Ryan shield, whatever. And secure one kill. You get what I'm saying? Flank high noon, not really that great. But it did happen once in a while. If It was like kind of, it had to be perfect timing to get good value. And the reason I'm okay with his ultimate being weak is because he has mobility. He has burst damage. He has a one shot with a flash right click. He does good damage over time. The best fair counter in the game, arguably. Now, I guess with the damage 
with a range reduction, Soldier can get thrown in there a little bit, because depending on how far away she is and stuff like that, but that's not the point. Like, normally, best counter. Good against Doom. Good against Genji. Um, was one of the OG supposed to be good against dive heroes, um, because you have to land the flashbang, unlike Brig, where you can literally just exist and you make half the hero pool non-existent to play. I don't care if it doesn't work for you in gold. That's a reason you're in gold. You're fucking trash. I'm sorry. You can still play the game and love the game. There's nothing wrong with that, but don't say you understand game balance at that point because you're just a fucking moron. Let's move on. Anyways, combat roll in the air kind of even makes it worse because now if Doom wasn't dead before, he's fucking dead now. Imagine that. Doom. Doom's whole kit is eing in, uppercut, shoot, shoot, punch out. Guess what? E, uppercut. Zoom. Brig. Reason part, part of what Brig was so good with was not only her shield, but whenever she got booped up, she can bash away. She has mobility in the air. Now they gave it to Kree too. Why? Why? Like Wrecking Ball. Wahoo. Wrecking Ball slams a Kree. Let's say he knows he sees it. He uses his flashbang. If you see a Kree use his flashbang, it's like, okay, that's a mistake. I can go punish him now. Goes to pile drive him. He just rolls away. So, uh, yeah. Uh, listen, I actually like Kree. I'm going to be honest with you. I actually like when Kree is strong. I think Kree is arguably one of the more fun heroes to play. I know he shuts down a lot of things, and I, lo I know a lot of people complain about his flashbang. And I complain about his flashbang, too, because the radius is a little ridiculous. If you've never seen McCree Flashbang Radius, if you want a good idea, it can actually reach high ground on Hanamura second as well as point. It the, the radius is big enough to reach the high ground and the point at the same time. Um, so that basically is like the fucking sun. But regardless, not the point. I think McCree is one of those heroes that one is good, the game feels good. I think heroes like Doom aren't fun to play against. It creates a lot of bad interactions and, you know... Support players especially don't have fun with it because Azario bubble Doom in. There's almost nothing you can do about it. You can't sleep him or anything. And there's a lot of other things that aren't fun to play against. I think Kree is actually okay. Regardless though, Kree was strong. I don't think needed, Kree needed a buff. But I haven't got to the point yet that I'm going to talk about in a, in a little bit. So hang with me. I think we've entered the new era of Overwatch. I'll explain. Nightmare Things the Prime as well. Really quickly, Moira... This change allows Moira to get more power out of her both of her orbs rather than them often using just a portion of their total potential before flying away to other targets. A slow speed when it, it has a target has been reduced by from 27.5 of normal to 15% of normal. So this is like ultra slow fuck you orbs. Um, that's kind of ow. <sighs> Whatever. Moira, Moira... Moira is one of those heroes that most people don't understand is not only one boring to play, but two can be very, very strong just because of how much healing she output, outputs and how hard she is to kill. And it, it kind of just becomes like a, for lack of a better word, a low brain comp and a low brain hero. Um, so that's why you used to see an owl when nobody played it on ladder. And finally, the reason that Basically makes me think that we've entered a new era of Overwatch. Junkrat. Otherwise known as Super Junkrat. The main goal of these changes is to increase Junkrat's overall potential power. Especially at close ranges. While weakening his long range spam potential. Direct hits within 15 meters will now do massive damage. While area damage and long range direct hit damage will be much lower than before. Frag launcher. Impact damage increased from 40 to 90. From 40 to 90. I don't think you understand. Explosion damage reduced from 80 to 60. Those are combined numbers. So it used to do 40 and 80. Now it does 90 and 60. I'll show you in the training range what that means in a minute. 
added fall off to the impact damage between 15 to 25 meters impact damage reduced to 20 percent 18 knockback amount slightly reduced what this means is that junkrat won't get random kills across the map anymore just spamming but on places where he's still good just like temple of anubis this won't matter that much it just means that you can't just randomly spam across the map and do like massive damage because to be honest that is low, like it's just kind of like low skill luck well, let me show you first before i explain what i'm thinking um we go to a custom game Perfect time Flats, enjoy your stream. What chaining range did I choose to, to do this, my dog? Because I. What happens if I change this to fucking Hanzo? Does he start moving too? Oh. Oh, okay. Never mind. Thank you. Okay. Well, this is good. Okay, this is gonna. This is kind of annoying. I'm not gonna lie to you. I may have up with the, the training range. Regardless, though, let me. This is not. Yeah. You, if this isn't. If this isn't showing you anything, I, I don't know what will. Yeah, I wouldn't get that close if I were you, because you're just gonna explode. Now, don't get me wrong, one shotting a tracer up close is probably not the hardest, but it's not the easiest either. You know, like it's definitely doable. But really? Why does she do why does he do this much damage? You know? Got here. You know? Like it's yeah, it's fing mind blowing. You know, because let me show you what this actually means. It might, it might be a tough one to, to, to really see. Come out and play. <sighs> For those are saying it's not new i get it right i get what you're saying but the number has gone even higher sorry does that one drive it home a little more does that one drive it home a little more still oh still huh oh okay maybe maybe you don't quite comprehend what i'm saying here Does that drive it home a little more? Let me get you here. It shatters you? Oh, f this trading range, dude. I'm, I'm going the other one. Shut up. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, there's a tracer in my back line? Let me spam at her. Yeah, like, oh, there's a tracer coming for me. Like, yeah, I miss, 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 miss. I'm one shot. Oh, no, I'm going to die. This one's especially for all those players I've spectated over the last couple months. Oh. You want to see it again? I love my job. Does it all make sense now? So, let's talk about this. Why I think we've entered a new era of Overwatch. I think this change is them testing ideas for Overwatch 2. 
They're testing ideas for Overwatch 2. Just destroy the trap before you get set. You getting it? Oh, you're right, dude. You're right. Just do this instead. That's the last shot. He got moved a little bit. I'm not going to lie to you. Oh, man. I don't have a trap. No worries. I'll just do this. Anyways, like I was saying, new era Overwatch. I think in Overwatch 2, they're going to try to give each hero even more of a niche. You know, like, you can still technically get away... Even with a close-range hero, you can still get away with, like, long-range engagements and stuff like that, right? There's a lot of things that can kind of, kind of happen. I think the idea here is they're testing something internally with Overwatch 2, with Junkrat. And they want to see if they can make Junkrat an up-close specialist... But at far range, it's just awful, right? And I think this is probably one of those tests. Now, are the numbers right? No, they might be leaving the numbers like differently because of two tanks as opposed to one. Um, that's the hope, at least. But this seems like it, it's, a, it's an internal test somehow to see um, if they can make it so like, it's, it's more, instead of just like mindlessly like going like this and spamming, right? Like, you're rewarded for having a more accurate shot as opposed to, you know, just like the mindless spam. Um, trying to increase the skill ceiling of the hero. Regardless, fucking though, let's talk about this. This shit's not okay. So let's, let's see. Let's see, like, in the middle. How, how much damage does this do now? So hit twice. You little fucking shit. Two. Three. Oh, fucker didn't. Anyways, it looks like as long as you don't get nailed by it, it does significantly less damage. You know? Which, to be honest with you, for your average, like... I don't know. Like, I would probably say, like, plat and below player. Unless you're just not paying attention, I feel like more times than not, you're probably getting hit by the bounce of the grenade as opposed to the impact. I don't see, or at least I don't think, there's that many super skilled junk rats in the lower ranks where they're actually like frontlining and doing this as opposed to like, you get what I'm saying? Like it's more just like kind of like bouncy extra sh um, which is a good thing for probably lower players, unless you play the tank role. Hmm. Yeah, you guys are again. Oh, what's that though? Discord didn't get nerfed. Zen didn't get nerfed. Brig didn't get nerfed. Those are running all the high elo lobbies. What? The reason that Briggs not good in low ranks because you all spam Ryan Zarya and Brig isn't good against Ryan, but Ryan is terrible in high ranks, so Brig gets away with it. Oh, what's that? Oh, what's that? Oh, go fuck myself. Okay, sounds good. We have entered a new era Overwatch. Not only are these two buffs like extremely tank oppressive as to Torb and to Junk. McCree is just like an overall buff. Um, these are like anti-tank when we should be going less anti-tank if we're testing for Rush 2. Um, Because that concerns me. But maybe it's not a test for Rush 2 for this one. Maybe this one's definitely is. I, you can't tell me it's not. This is 100% an Overwatch 2 test change. This is 110% just a raw anti-tank buff. Which sucks. In general. <sighs> I don't know what's happening. I'll be honest with you. I don't know what's happening at all. With these changes. Because this is not. Even in any way shape or form. Dealing with the current problems. So what this likely is. Is testing out for a rush too. That's likely what it is. He has. McCree's not going to have his flash. They're not looking at flash. So they're probably not going to touch it. Because he's not going to have it in a rush too. Combat role, they're probably trying to make more effective of an ability in a rush too. 
they're trying to make his ultimate more effective in Overwatch 2. Um, I don't understand this one, but we'll see how it goes, I guess. Um, regardless, though, I would almost guarantee that this is like Overwatch 2 internal play tests slash we don't have enough data. Let's see how players feel with this type of change to the character. <sighs> Buckle up. We're in super junk rap meta. Round with us. Justice ain't gonna dispense itself. See this. Huh. I actually didn't feel that bad with that, but it's mostly because it's gonna be able to change your direction midair. Yeah, that's that's kinda, you know. Um, also, it doesn't make a noise. Listen. It doesn't make a noise. I think that's probably the thing I'm most concerned about. But I don't like it because you can do this now. It makes no noise. You know what I'm saying? Like... Like, you can avoid the sound now. You know what I'm saying? Like... There's already a way to silent roll. Yeah, but this is mainstream now. It's not like a tech. It's literally just... Like, anyone can do it now. I feel like that should have a sound. Actually, let me see if I can combo this. Can I silent drop with it? Hmm. Oh yeah, you can silent drop. Oh my god. Hmm. <clears throat> What's silent drop? I'll explain it. I'll explain it. Imagination is the essence of discovery. So there's a couple different types of drops here. One can be just falling, like this. You hear that? You know, like the, like the, like the pads of their hands or feet hit the ground and go, hmm. That's one. Another one's like this. Oh. And it makes like the whoosh noise, right? Hello there. And then there's silent dropping. Oh, and actually, actually, that was very good. You notice the difference? This is normal. Difference? Do you not have ears? Not the same thing. Do you guys not have ears? It's two totally different sounds.
It's night and day. It's night and day. How much quieter is this other people though? It's much quieter. Okay, you know what? Here. You want a good example of how, how much different it is? Justice will be done. I'll give you the heavy man. Normal fall. Silent fall. There you go, you guys are starting to get it. Oh, noise. The armor is the only thing that you can't really, like, you can't do anything about it. The armor is just so loud, but Ryan's like the loudest hero in the game. Versus. I was told there's no educational content here. This is a freebie. Those two. Hold the space bar. Yes, you hold jump. It used to be a big secret. Not many people knew about it. I guess, you know, enough pat time has passed and nobody's talked about it. It probably is a secret again. Um, but you have your normal fall like this. This is how you normally sound. You make the big ah, uh, and your armor clinks and shit like that. And then there's the silent drop where you hold space bar on the way down. You don't jump, you f walk off the ledge and you hold space bar. Okay, I'm not gonna lie to you. I held it a little too early. You gotta give it like a split second. Because if you don't, if you go too, if you go too fast with it, you kind of f it up. I'm gonna be honest with you, I f it up. Really? Why can I do that the first 10 times when I it's just my brain fell apart reading chats? Dude. Holy fucking dude.